Hey, birds. This is Miss Kelly with Love is Playing Tarot coming to you with your bonus read. You guys were in the top five most viewed videos. Kudos and thank you. So, I want to get started. Virgo, I seen something that was really unusual for Virgo. You are in a lot of air energy. I don't know if you have an air sign that's in your energy or there is, um, like maybe you have a lot of air in your chart, but you, you know, you're very indecisive, you're anxious, you're in your head, you can't, you're not making a decision about something or you're not saying something for what it really is. So let's see. I already did the pre-shuffle. Let's see. Oh, we have a night of five. Look at it. Passion. We can pass it if I've heard. Yeah. Let's see. Queen of Water. So, there's someone who's not showing their emotions. Uh, with the Queen of Water, this is, you know, well, okay, let's start off with this Knight of Fire. So, you're passionate, adventurous. You're feeling very self assured right now. Also, a bit restless. You feel like something needs your in, needs your attention and you feel like time is of the essence if you don't move something is going to slip through your fingers and but um with this you know with this this fire energy you know you have to also be kind of cautious because you know fire energy can be very impulsive so it's not necessarily thinking things through um, as far as what the outcome could possibly be and making sure that you're making the best decision for everyone involved, not just for your own gratification. Um, so we have the queen of water, which is tender, a tender hearted person, someone who's empathetic, patient, loving. Um, this relationship uh, or this situation could be developing to a new level. Um, they're saying trust your intuition. You know, it's time for you to show your loving side of caring for yourself and caring for others. Again, back to what I was saying, thinking things through thoroughly. Not just thinking about yourself, but what's good for everyone involved in the situation. Queen of Fire. So hold on, baby. You have two options, Bird. Fixed glasses. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could be this Queen of Cups that's embodying both of these energies. So we, we want to see how this goes. But we know, too, the Queen of Fire, you know, could also be a mistress or someone, you know, that's they, they say the side piece. But I don't see just uh, the Queen of Wands being a side piece. Like, nah, boo. Because this is the most confident queen in the deck. You think she really just going to settle for a side piece? Nah, but you know, we'll go with, like I said, I just feel like you do have to either two options or this person, this queen of cups is embodying this queen of wands energy as well. She's confident. She's warm. She's intelligent. She's graceful. You know, it's saying that, or this could be you needing to embody this energy. It's time for you to assert your independence and your creativity. It's time for you to not underestimate yourself and believe in yourself that whatever it is that you're trying to go towards, that you can achieve it. I like this. With the six of fire hat, come over. Come over. You say, yes, you're going to give me the, re the recognition and you want it public. You want public recognition. And awards. Hmm. But good news is on his waiver. Oh. Okay, so thus far, y'all have the best reading thus far. Let's, let's, let's. I hate getting too excited though, because then that's when my little bubble gets bust. Why is this night of fire? Tell us about this night of fire here. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I just. Yo, I can't. So, you are stuck and not making a decision on going towards, I feel like this may be a Gemini. Going towards this Gemini. You are in the hangman position. You are trying to gain a new perspective on this situation. Oh, why is the lovers in reverse for the Virgo? Why is the lovers in reverse? Oh, I hate when that happened. Y'all was doing good. 
Why the love is in reverse? You want to move away. You feel like that there, that it was, it's too much conflict. And you feel like you need to move on to calmer waters. Um, <sighs> you know, that's entirely too many. You're not taking eight cards, y'all. Okay. Three cups. So I feel like you may be celebrating with friends, or you may have had a birth of a new child. Ooh. Hmm. Because with this three and this deck, this three of cups, as you see, this is a celebration of a new baby. So right now, you could be in the middle of celebrating the birth of a child. Mm-hmm. Can I say moving away? It was a lot of conflict. And look, this five of swords came out right here. Mm-hmm. A lot of conflict. Let's see. I want to see why this lovers is in the reverse. Why is this lovers in the reverse? Why is the lovers in the reverse? It's about to come out. Ooh, a page of cups. So this King of Pentacles will not show you any type of emotion. Um, I feel like you want to communicate to this person that you want a high level of commitment. I feel like you may even want to get married. Um... Eight of Wands. Ooh, King of Swords. You feel like this person could be very, very unethical. Like, um, this could be someone who maybe does not have uh, a legal type of job. Um, they may lie a lot. Um, you know, makeup stuff could be very harsh and brass with their tongue. Um, they speak, you know, very harshly to you. And I feel like there's been some harsh communication between you and this person. Mm, King of Swords. Why is it in reverse? Why is this King of Swords in the reverse? Well, this could be the way that you're speaking to someone, Virgo. This could be you tapping into this energy. Queen of Swords in the upright. Mm. Okay. So, Berg, I feel like this Queen of Swords is very clear, direct, very independent. And I feel like you feel like you're not going to be able to have this higher level of commitment with this person due to this baby being involved. You may feel like this person does not <clears throat> does not want to um be a part of that. Let's see. What about this Queen of Swords? Okay, this Queen of Swords is trustworthy, practical, hard worker. Yeah. And this Queen of Swords, she's focused on her, uh, she's focused on her wealth. She's focused on her money. She's trying to build her uh, empire, legacy, ten of, ten of coins is legacy, wealth, longevity, something that someone wants to have generational, okay. Hmm, there's no other messages for that. Let's clarify this queen of water. Let's ooh, 
Okay, Princess of Coins. So this Princess of Water may feel like that you are not stable. Or that this relationship was not stable. Or you could feel like that it's not stable. That the, you know, ugh. And this came across, so you're not necessarily sure that you want to deal with this, like that you want to, you're, you're, you're kind of biased on whether, and then I say you, you were very indecisive on whether you want to actually team up with this person, collaborate with this person mm -hmm. due to the conflict that surrounds this situation. Okay. Ooh. With this queen of wands, here she go again. Queen of fire. Mm-hmm. So it's conflict. A lot of conflict with this queen of fire. Okay. Oh. So it left you in regret. So something did not work out. So if you feel like trying to team up with this person. But I mean, I don't mean no harm. If you're coming out, Virg, is the King of Swords in the reverse? I mean, I don't, I don't see nobody, you know, trying to team up with that, Virg. I'm just keeping that a buck. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. And this regret. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. You see this person as a firm foundation and stable. So what is the problem? You even trust this person in all actuality. So what's the problem? Can I find this Ace of Pentacles, please? Then look, two of wands, crossroads, and decision. Um Feel like you may be making plans. Two of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Okay. That was a lot. Hmm. Okay. So. Knight of Wands. So you feel like because you, you know, you weren't coming at this person hastily. Well, actually, this Queen of Wands wasn't coming at you hastily. I feel like you may feel like that this Queen of Wands may have been like a player or had other people. Because that's the energy that I'm taking from this. Um, with this Knight of Wands in the reverse. But that's not what it was. Like, this person just does not move really fast. Because she's a queen. She's not a knight. So, she's mastered her emotions. She's mastered how, when... To release that lust, when to release that impulsiveness, when to take action. She she's mastered when to take action. Okay. Um, you and this person is connected at the soul at a soul level. Um, but there's some heartbreak surrounding this connection. Why is the three of swords here? What is this heartbreak and betrayal? A high level of commitment so I feel like you feel like you wanted a higher level of commitment you wanted to get married um, someone may not want it may did not want to get married and it made this person feel kind of left out you know you may have a family already with this person but you feel like this person left you out in a cold um, Huh. Queen of Fire. Let's see. Queen of Fire for the bird. Mm. So we have the Princess of Swords. Huh. <laughs> With the King of Wands. Wait a minute, baby. Wait a minute. Y'all still got all this conflict going on here. They was like, what is all that about? Now, this queen of fire, she's watching. She's watching. She's trying to, <laughs> she's trying to watch her thoughts. 
because I feel like she wants to say some things and she wants to aim at your heart. But at the same time, I feel like, of course, with her being a princess, um, I feel like that it may come off a bit premature or it comes off like, you know, she may be kind of shy. But in this depiction here, it's like her words, she's aiming straight for your heart is where she, you know, where she's focused with as far as her communication is concerned. All right, let's see. Let me focus. What other messages do you have? Other messages. Okay. Four of Cups. Five of Wands. Okay. So this Queen of Fire wants to come out of conflict and competition. So she does not want any competition when it comes to this King of Wands. She feels like, yes, and you can see this King of Wands that has those, Leah has, a, uh, has the, the lions on his chest. So, could be dealing with a Leo, uh, Virg. Um, yeah, this person is no longer feeling the discontentment. Um, they're not, they may not even be thinking about love right now. Um... They're not dealing with their like they're not gonna deal with any competition. That's what this Queen of Wands is saying. This Queen of Wands is like she's not dealing with any competition coming from this King of Wands. So my thing is this is you know, I feel like, you know, with this three of wands at the bottom, you still want to collaborate. Look at this. Yo, you two must be it must be World War Three up in y'all little creep, cause or just in y'all connection because I'm telling you like I've gone through quite a few of these cards and this card has stayed out the entire read so you guys are definitely going through a lot of conflict you know I feel like you want to strike up a new idea and go in um you know you're waiting for some sort of result with this person or I feel like this person is waiting for some sort of result with you um some sort of conclusion or resolution to the situation Let's see. No, it's a four cups. No, let's see. Uh-uh. They're going to tell me about this. Uh, what is going on? So, this are you, you fumbling all over the place, Virgo? Or, let me tell you, this is King of Wands. You had me. Well, this is Retrograde, Two of Pentacles, so you're no longer juggling. This King of Wands is no longer juggling, uh, juggling options. He's no longer juggling those options. Okay. I like that. Or is not willing to negotiate. Let's see. Uh, yep, not willing to negotiate. That's how I took that one. And this King of Wands is conflicted with this confidence. So I feel like, yeah, look, this is coming to an end though. The death card, change is coming. You're getting ready to get out of your head with this foolishness because, Virg, how I see it, like I say, old Buck, I felt your energy was very indecisive and split. And look, even with my speech and how I'm talking about, you know, you and how your energy is coming up, you coming up one minute you're confident, the next minute you're not. It's like you're hot and cold. So, it's like you're really going to have to make a decision on where you at. Look, look, look. You went from the eight of swords to the nine of swords. That's almost a mental breakdown. Like, are you really, you might be going through a lot. You really might be going through a lot right now. But a lot of it is self-imposed. This is self-fulfilling -prof self prophecy. A lot of this is self-imposed. Hmm. Why is this King of Wands in the reverse? Okay. And then you just want to just start spitting out. Ooh, five of pinnacles, five of swords. Change. Didn't I say that? Didn't that death card just say that change? Yeah. The conflict, competition, feeling lack, all of this made it to where as though this was a missed opportunity. You being in your head not feeling like you're good enough. Who else had this Pisces? Not feeling like you're good enough. Come on now. The tower. Look, and it brought it all the way down. Brought it all the way down. 
there's a revelation that you're in love with this Queen of Cups. Look, right back here. I hate when this happens. Oh, will you come on? Thank you. With this Queen of Cups, look. It went right back to her. You know, I feel like she may not have shown her feelings, but that don't mean that a person don't have them. Yeah, she walked away. I think you walked away or she walked away, but look, missed opportunity. Remember, the lovers came out first card, reversed. But I feel like now you want to make the decision that you want to be with this person. Yeah, you want to reconcile. Knight of Cups, you want to tell them that you're in love with them, that you've fallen in love with them. You want to reconcile. You want to let your friends know. You want to be around your friends. You want to be around your family. You know. Oh, boy. Verg, verg, verg. Verg, verg, verg. But as you see, the overall energy is you're going to be getting good news on a victory. Six of fire. Look at this. Right behind it, the wheel of fortune. But don't get yourself caught back here again in that two of swords energy in that stalemate. You're going to get a victory with this situation. Is what spirit is saying. So... Just make sure when the opportunity presents itself again, very you ready. And you not sitting on here, you know, BSing. Like for real. Mm, let's see what cards do we have for the verb. Alright. For the verb. For the verb. We have two more players. That was entirely too many. One more. Thank you. Mm hmm Shame. Bad dog, no biscuit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you did something. Excuse me, guys. You did something. All right, so we have expression. Didn't I say you're not speaking? You're not saying anything? How is somebody supposed to know? Come on, girl. You don't have to speak up. Imagination. Pisces had this. Get the big picture. Boredom. Try time to sit and stay. That's why that four cups kept coming out. One time it came out in reverse. Next time it came upright. You're bored. And like I said, it's like your energy is just like all over the place. You're kind of scattered. And I feel like you're in unmarked um, territory. This is not something that you're used to. So let's see. Let's get a uh, let's get an advice card for the Virg. Advice card for the Virg. Advice card for the world. Thank you. Make waves. That's what I'm. It's time for your butt. It's your time to make a splash and rock a few creaky boats. A. Don't be afraid to get wet. You may fail. You may look foolish. Or you may make people think in a new way. Every great trailblazer and change maker make, made waves. You're no different. So step out of your comfort zone. It's time for you to ruffle some feathers. Who cares who's mad? It's about you. And as long as you ain't out here harming nobody, you should be able to go after what you want. Virgo, like, come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can't have other people ruling our destiny at all. At all. 
at all. It's time for you to speak up. Okay, it's time to ruffle some feathers. Period and point blank. It's time to stop, you know, worrying about everybody else being comfortable. What is it that you want? If it's not hurting anyone else directly, if it's not impacting their life in any type of way, what's the issue? Okay. That's all I'm saying. But that's what I have for you, my Virgos. I hope you guys liked your bonus read. And please like, share, subscribe to the channel. You have to excuse me. You can hear that the walls in here are just totally thin and ridiculous. But um, I'm working on uh, changing that some. So thank you guys again. All the newbies. Mwah. Please like, share, subscribe. Become a lover and <laughs> an aligner. And I will see you guys in your next week. Peace.